American Road Trip Bar and Grill in Yucaipa is a large freestanding restaurant that offers a marvelous variety of classic American food, including some great barbecue. As you enter, you are greeted by a backside of a travel trailer. One side of the restaurant features a large bar, while the other side of the restaurant features lots of rustic booth seating, giving one the feeling of what you would expect to see in some Midwest restaurant. Under the direction of Mike Miller and Keith Bishop, the revamped food offerings are both delicious and affordable, price for all to enjoy. I think we're somewhat of a throwback, uh, back to simpler times. Uh, both Mike and I, our philosophy is uh, great food, great service. Uh, we take pride in, in all the products that we you know, put out on the floor, you know, you know whether it's a, a simple beer to you know, Yankee pot roast, I mean everything is, is, is top of the line. The next time you're in the neighborhood, especially if you're visiting Oak Glen, you know, and, or if you're on your way to Palm Springs, by all means, we will truly, you know, make your road trip one to, to remember. Well, we're here in Yucaipa. Now we took our own little road trip to American Road Trip Bar and Grill in Yucaipa. Let's start with one of their signature appetizers, the Texas Road Flare, $7.99. This is three tortillas. It has a cream cheese uh, mixture with diced jalapenos. It's wrapped and deep fried, comes in six pieces, and it's served with a delicious apricot chili dipping sauce. I really like this. Now, there can be, people can't complain to say there's not enough of the cream cheese in there but it was plenty, especially when you dip it well, with the sauce. Yeah, and I'm a big fan of cream cheese. Anything with cream cheese is and jalapenos okay. was, it had just enough kick to it. Perfect balance, really good. I love the sauce. It was sweet with a little bit, of tiny bit of heat. Yeah, I love the heat, it was good. Next yeah. we had the Kokomo Chop Salad, $10.99. What a salad. This is a really interesting salad. We were talking chopped mixed lettuce, spinach, candied walnuts, cranberries, slices of mandarin oranges, avocado, whew, diced red onions, blue cheese crumbles, tossed in a huge, and I do mean huge, salad bowl with a delicious citrus lime dressing. Cold, yeah. crisp, I love the lime and the citrus flavor. It really jumped out, and it was just a very refreshing salad. It was very refreshing. The, the dressing itself was light, but sweet and they give you enough for your entire family. That's a huge salad. It is a big salad. It's a big, it so. was a big salad. Well, we gotta eat healthy, so that's where we are. <laughs> so, next is a gigantic burger. It's called Art's Famous OMG Burger, $10.99. This starts out with a brioche bun with a bacon mayo spread, a hand-formed grilled Angus beef burger with lots of crisp crumbled bacon, lettuce, sliced tomato, pickle chips, caramelized onions, Thick slice of Gouda cheese, smashed avocado, topped with an over easy egg, and served with fries. I think there was like three avocados. It was a lot. Thing. It was a ton of avocados now, overflowing. I, ha I have to admit, this was very difficult to eat. This yeah, was, it was. I mean, you got to have a big mouth, and people <laughs> say I do, but even my mouth, I couldn't. This is a ginormous burger. Mm. It was but delicious. lots of flavors to it. And that I cheese. like it, yeah. The Good. name fits it. OMG, bro. OMG, oh my goodness. Next was mopped pulled pork sandwich, $9.99. Oh, Yum. hickory smoked pork drenched in their southern style mop sauce on a brioche bun topped with a mess, and I do mean a mess, of crispy onion strings served with a side of their barbecue sauce with coleslaw if you want it. I love the sweet, uh, smoky barbecue sauce. The smoked pork, pulled pork was excellent. I make it myself oh, at home. Yeah. This was tender, had a nice smoky flavor to it. I love it with coleslaw. That's I had it on the side this time, but mm -hmm. just a very good uh, dish. And the onion rings just, with the crispiness and the sweet onions, oh, heaven. It was a perfect combination of the crisp onion rings. The, what do they call them, shoestring onion yeah, rings? Yeah, different names for it. Delicious. But that, the, so you get the texture of that, you get the sweetness and the smokiness of the sauce and the delicious moist juicy uh, pork yeah and i'm a huge fan of pulled pork that pulled pork was delish that was excellent it was so oh, good oh here we go rachel ray here now delish 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 <laughs> another terrific dish was the uh, baby back ribs now this is a whole slab of ribs for only 
a terrific deal. This is a full rack of tender, meaty baby back ribs that were first lovingly massaged with a very tasty rub, slowly smoked, and finished on the char grill with their homemade barbecue sauce that comes with a choice of two sides. We decided to have corn, which is an excellent choice, with green pepper and a little bacon to it, and their beans, and what a nice set of ribs, meaty. I love it, again, the sauce on it. It has a nice crisp exterior, and just perfect ribs. Perfectly cooked ribs fall right off the bone, and tender, you don't, it's just perfect. And you know, normally I don't like baby back ribs. I like St. Louis, I'm a little more meatier on them, but this had a lot of meat to it, so I think I changed my mind now. It did, they were excellent. Good stuff. And another great um, barbecue item, if you like, is chicken. This is a smoking great half chicken, $9.99. This is a half a chicken that is first marinated overnight and then gently rubbed with a delicious sweet gingery rub before being smoked and finished on their char grill with their barbecue sauce. This too it came with two sides. We had a rice peel off, I believe it was, and beans. Uh, can't get enough of those beans. Beans and were very good. For $9.99, no complaints whatsoever. And it had no a nice complaints. smoky flavor, a little hickory to it. And um, it, was, it was just a nice, good chicken. Moist and perfectly cooked. And I love the beans. Did I tell you I love the you beans? I love the beans. Yeah, they were very good, so. I thought one of the best dishes of the evening was the pot roast. Now this is a real classic American dish. This is $13.99. Now this is real American classic. We're talking a nice portion of fork tender pot roast served with real garlic mashed potatoes, sweet pearl onions, carrots, and an excellent brown gravy. This is the way a pot roast should be. My grandma used to make it all the time and this is what it was. This is excellent. I love the pearl oven, uh, onions. You never see pearl onions anywhere. I thought that was unusual. I thought I was having a cocktail for a second. Yeah. Well, they're, pearl onions, it's, yeah. just, it's one of those things that you just don't see very much anymore. It's true. So, it was excellent. And their sauce was nice about the gravy. It was rich. It was uh, complex tasting. It wasn't real salty. Mm -hmm. And it had a nice uh, beefy mushroom flavor. I didn't get enough gravy. Oh really? I, I was that's because maybe I took it. you took it. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't that was my only beef with this. So basically ask for more gravy. More gravy. Yeah. An extra side of gravy on the side. And just because, slop it up. Yeah, I like it on top of the potatoes and I really wanna sop it up with Drink some bread up. or sounds so it wasn't good. enough. <laughs> okay. Then we had the pesto chicken. This is our last entree. Ten ninety nine. This is a charboiled chicken breast, a nice size breast with a delicious garlic palm crusted sourdough bread with lettuce, tomato, bacon, avocado, can't get enough avocado here, provolone cheese, and a robust pesto aioli uh, served with, with uh, coleslaw we had here. Very but the messy. bread had a great flavor to it. Um, the, the chicken itself was a nice piece of chicken. It mm -hmm. wasn't a skimpy pre-made, you know, breast that you exactly. made already made. Uh, and I love the uh, the pesto. Oh, the pesto aioli was the star for me. It was, it was very good, very tasty. It was so good. That over pasta with the chicken would have been yeah. another great entree. Oh, yeah. Maybe they have it. Maybe we yeah. should start our own well, restaurant. Let's order a side of that pesto aioli next time. You are a gravy person, aren't you? Yes. So pesto and gravy and you'd be yes. happy? Yes, yes. Man, you'd be a cheap date, I'll tell yes. you. <laughs> okay, then you got to have dessert. Now, this is called the gooey cookie sensation, $6.99. So it's an underbaked chocolate chip cookie from heaven. It came directly <laughs> from heaven and landed on this awesome plate with hot, nice and hot, you can see the steam coming off, with a yummy scoop of vanilla ice cream <laughs> drizzled with caramel and chocolate and whipped cream, all from heaven. Now the cookie wasn't, it wasn't, it was halfway cooked basically. So it wasn't raw, but it wasn't all the way cooked. And yeah. that's what made it gooey and chocolatey. And you really ripped into that. I did, I did. Are you a dessert person? Yes, I am. What a guess. Yes. <laughs> Let's start with your uh, favorites. What are some of your favorite, your three favorites? Okay, so the mopped pulled pork sandwich was by far the best dish, in my opinion. That was okay. my favorite. Um, I loved, again, I love pulled pork and they did it right. Okay. It was very good. Um, the second one is, I was very surprised, I like the Kokomo chopped salad. Okay. So my third favorite was the OMG burger, because it was OMG delicious. It was I huge. I loved it, it was huge, it was good. Okay, now can I do mine? Lots of avocado. The mop pulled pork was <laughs> sensational. I love the stringy, uh, the uh, fried onions, that really made the difference there. The pot roast was as good as you get. This is like grandma used to make, and I, I just thought this is a great dish. 
And the last thing was um, the famous OMG burger, except it, you've got to have a big mouth. Not that you do. I, <laughs> I don't want to give you that impression that you do, but it's a very massive sandwich, so you, you got to come hungry. Everything here is fairly large portions, so, and you know, the pricing is excellent, the quality is fantastic. This restaurant is so much better than it used to be. Uh, under a completely different owner and management in here and the services are friendly. It, it seems like people really like working here and I don't blame them because I like coming here and I definitely will be coming here again. And I agree. There's a good vibe here. The vibe has totally changed. It's a good vibe. Everyone's happy and smiling and efficient. Right.